Namaste. Well, let me just turn my TV down because it's always loud. Okay, hi guys. I feel like I haven't, even though I put up a video and I put up a couple of shorts, um, that, you know, unless I'm talking to you, um, I feel like those are not, this was supposed to be a short to just announce, um, two videos I'm going to do, but I'm just trying to figure it out because it's two different boys, um, I'm oh, so sorry, Namaste, it's late, um, and I might have to go to work tomorrow, I don't know, um, they wanted me to go to, back to that school, and I, I, I still feel like it's not the right, it wasn't the right class for me, sorry, my neck feel, looks like it's, this a ring around it, because there is a ring of fat, anyway, not supposed to make fun of ourselves. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. I know I said that earlier. Okay. But I usually celebrate that day. Um, anyhow, I'm still in my St. Patty's Day clothes. I only had one beer. Yeah, that's not like me. I'm having a Diet Coke. But anyhow, I know. I shouldn't be having that so late at night. But I have something on my mind. I started to do research after dinner, and it, it was kind of odd because I didn't want to do these two cases. But when something gets in my, in this brain, in this bird brain of mine, um, I couldn't put it down. And it was kind of like, what's his name? I don't have to rush because this is a little short video to announce my other video. And I'm going to have to use my other phone um, when I go inside uh, because this is about to go dead. So I just never plug it in enough. I actually plugged it in earlier. Oh, yeah, I'm just sorry. I'm uncomfortable. I'm not comfortable. But I feel like I haven't talked to you guys. Okay. Yeah, I haven't. I probably haven't. Um, yeah. So just to keep you updated before I talk about the two cases that I'm going to do a video on, I'm just trying to figure out whether I'm going to do a live, um, sorry, I'm burping from the soda, okay? It was either pour myself a glass of wine on a Sunday night, which wouldn't be bad, or, because I fell asleep. I had poured myself a glass of wine last night, and I fell asleep. Um, and I had to throw it out this morning. And I gotta stop throwing it out, because it's friggin' 17 or $18 for the bottle. So, anyhow. <laughs> that's just Mystic Brady problems, okay? Anyway, I just figured, if I have a job to do, instead of making a cup of coffee, let me just have a soda. Cheers. Um, so anyhow, I didn't tell you, so it's two boys. One boy's name is Sebastian Rogers. He's a 15-year-old boy um, on the autistic spectrum. And a lot of people, there's been a lot of rumors and stuff about him. Um, that he was nonverbal, but he's verbal. He's in regular classes. He just has a little problem, I think, with anger or getting frustrated. Um, so, yeah, I think people were trying to paint him as a different type of kid, and and they shouldn't. Okay, so he's one. Um, I don't feel like he passed, and I know a lot of psychics have said he he did. And I, I can only give you what I get. Um, I don't feel like he passed. So he's one. Um, and the other one I'm going to talk about, the other young man is 22. I, I just wrote these people into my, my new book. Um, you know, I keep a notebook with all the names. My other book got all filled up with 20 cases. And some of them are solved and some of them aren't most of them aren't um some of them have some people in jail or prison and some of them 
a lot of them don't have anybody in jail. So, anyhow, I needed to start a new notebook because that book got filled up. And what's sad is that I know this one will get filled up too. God forbid, but I know it will. So, when Spirit calls you to look into something, and like I was trying to say before, I know I didn't complete a sentence, because you know that's me. Inside here is a lot of weird things, a lot of million things going on. Sorry about the rat's nest up on top of the head. It's not even a meth bun. It's just a legit, uncombed ponytail. Okay. It's going to be washed because, you know, I might be going to work. And I need to go to work because I got to make some money. Because I'm going to New York and see my sister and see my family. And then Ireland, hopefully. Anyway, um, yeah. So I made those plans this weekend as well. Um... Yes. All right. So Sebastian Rogers is the 15 year old, the 22 year old that they're looking for that I don't feel good news about is, and I didn't even think I was going to get a feel or a lead on him, but then I just sat at my table. I lit some Palo Santo. I write down the name. I write it again. Uh, I write it a third time. Then boom, I get information. I'm like, thank you God for this gift. Um, you know, hopefully people will listen, but, um, I was like, I got to get these videos out for these two young men. He's 22. I think he's from Missouri. What's his name? Riley, which I love that name, Riley. Uh, and the last name is Strain, I think, Strain, but I have it all written down. So in the other room, so I will go in the other room. Um, sorry that my, uh, throat looks so weird, okay, but this is me, okay? Let me show you my outfit. was an epic fail okay no it was just weird I'm just weird okay but I'm a nice weird okay I'm not I don't think I'm a mean weird maybe you think I am okay if you do think I am then you don't know me and why are you here okay anyhow oh, I'm not trying to fight with you I'm not trying to get my Irish up I'm trying to get my Irish up all right anyway I used to have a necklace that was a four-leaf clover, and I don't know where it is. I had the necklace, the earrings, the ring. Sorry, I I'm burping straight up. I have no, I, I give no Fs, okay? Because I'm drinking soda late at night. It's not that late. Oh, crap, it is late. Maybe a girl's not going to work tomorrow. I don't know. See, it's better if I go to work Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Why? Because you get paid more. Just like maybe 5 to $10 more, but it's still worth it. Maybe it's $10 more. I'm not even sure now. Anyway. um. See, this is the thing. The spirit... Let me just talk, okay? Even though this phone might go straight up dead. Maybe I'm not going to work tomorrow, okay? Because I have a couple of things to do. And one of the things is that I finally secured um, a, a new, like, because I don't understand. Like, people think because I know how to run my YouTube channel, do I really understand how to run it? No, I really don't. I give it to God. I give it to Shanann. And she helps me. And God helps me. And the angels help me. And you guys help me. And that's why I don't like to not tap in as often. 
Um, so you guys know my sister is sick. She's still in the hospital. So today was a full week that she's been in the hospital. Um, and yeah, a lot of stuff is personal, so I'm not going to say it on the air, but I do ask for continued prayers. Um, so I got in touch with, I was trying to push my ass, move my ass, um, to clean. No, but I did empty my basket almost. Okay. There was a lot of things to hang up. I almost emptied that and I did think about vacuuming. I did actually think about vacuuming, but that didn't happen. Don't worry, the dirt will still be there tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, so I could put it on my list. Anyways, so my sister's very sick, and so I, ha I my trip to Ireland is in mid-April. Uh, I'm not giving out dates, because that's probably not safe. Anyway, um, if you know me, you, you probably know the dates, but anyhow, so before I went, was going to New York, going to Ireland, I was going to meet my kids in, you know, Staten Island, New York. This way I could um, be in the same place and travel with them. This way I could see my best friend of like 50 something years because she wanted to spend one night with me for my 60th birthday. She was going to or is going to um, treat me to a hotel stay in the Bethlehem Hotel in Pennsylvania. Um, we still don't know what day yet we're going to do it, what night. But she wanted to, you know, like have a big surprise party for me last September when it was my birthday. But remember I was sick with the uh, old intestines problems, waiting on doctors and everything, and my root chakra was messed up. And I waited for doctors and doctors to call me back so I can get a colonoscopy. P.S. They wouldn't give me the colonoscopy. Finally. So I decided I'm not postponing anything anymore. Okay? Yeah, I'll get tests done that I need. They're still charging me $1,000 for that mammogram. I'm not giving them $1,000. Okay. First it was 900, then it went up to 930, 9, 950, 975. Last time I checked, it was 1,000. And I'm like, okay. So, um, a lot of people said, oh, you never told us how, how your mammogram went. Do, are you following me? I do little videos. I did a freaking video inside the office when I was wearing the robe. Um, but, yeah, my results were good. Knock on wood. Okay. I'm not trying to rhyme. Um, thank you. They they were stable. That's what the word they used. They said calcifications in here, calcifications in there. The um where the titanium disc is, it's stable. No I mean there's more calcifications, which I didn't understand, but they just suggested just get another test next year. So I'm good for a year. Whoop whoop. Okay, um, God is good. Uh, God wants me to hang around, you know, but not just, you know, twiddling my fingers. I got to do the cases and just keep it, keep going, keep it moving. That's what I hear. Keep it moving. What about Lori Page? I'm still thinking about you, Lori Page. What about Jocelyn Smith? Of course, I'm thinking about you. I got a lot of emails on her. So, because I got a, not so, not any, any more on Lori Smith, a uh, Lori, um, Page. Now, Lori Page, I did get some emails, and I did get a little headway, but then I guess, um, some people don't believe in my gifts, and they don't believe in the, um, mission that I'm on, um, and pe people actually think I get paid for anything that I do. On YouTube and let me just say again I'm not monetized I'm not monetized because I was told not to okay trust me I ask a lot I ask am I supposed to get monetized now dear God spirit guides twitch okay <laughs> and they and they say no nope so um 
I do this out of my heart. Yeah, my healing artwork. Um, and I want to say thank you. If you support my healing artwork, I did sell um, the my Celtic cross. But that little tiny Celtic cross. I want to say thank you so much um, for purchasing that. You know who you are. And um, yeah, I'm not pushing it, but I do show you my art. I do little shorts with my art in it if you see anything you like but I'm just not in the mood to push it because I'm going through a lot of things with my family um, I'm worried very worried about my sister and um, preparing for my trip and trying to get everything together because you know I travel by myself so you know sometimes I don't travel by myself but I travel um, just traveling from Texas, where I am, back to New York is, uh, and then back again will be four planes. Get, get that? Did you understand that? Four planes. Then, when we, when I go to Ireland, that's another two planes, right? Wait, I don't even know. We'll probably have a changeover somewhere, because I don't think the plane. One plane goes all the way to Ireland, does it? I'm not sure. Okay. I am not sure. Um, but anyhow, I'm excited about that, but it just always has a haze over it because I'm worried about my sister. But, you know, there's nothing I could do except make plans to get to New York and to go visit her in New Jersey. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm very full of anxiety because I'm going to be gone a long time. And one time I was gone right after I got married to Devin about the next year. Yeah. Yeah, so we got married in July of 2015. And we moved here from New York to Texas in 20, October 2015. And then in 2016, July 2016, I, mo I flew out. And I stayed in New York for 42 days. People thought I got divorced. Okay. People thought I left Devon. I was like, no, I love Devon. I can't wait to go back to Devon and see my dogs too. Cleo, Meadow, and Nana at the time. And two cats. Raven and Mr. Ripples. And Mr. Pickles was alive too. And we had two turtles. And now we're down to one turtle. Anyhow. Boy, this mind is a steel trap full of mazes, okay? <laughs> you don't want to get in there. You don't want to get in there, okay? Unless you have your running shoes on. Anyway, yeah, did we have to do the caffeine? Yeah, we had to do the caffeine. Okay, so anyhow. What, am, what is my point? What is my friggin' point? No, I feel like I haven't gotten a chance to talk to you guys. I have Pisces to do. Um, happy birthday, Tammy. Happy birthday, Susan. Happy birthday, all the Pisces out there. Happy birthday to my niece, Mia. Um, I know that we're leaving Pisces soon, or did we leave already? Might have left already. I don't know. But, um, anyhow, it'll get done. It'll get done. I'll put that on my list. And I just want to, I'll be chill with it. I'll be, maybe I'll do it in the car. Because I seem to be relaxed in the car. But I've been locking in lately and just being in the house to try to be close with the dogs and try to just be with my family. And be close to my phone and just, you know, talking to my family members you know, what's going on with my sister and stuff like that. So, um, anyhow, yeah, it, it's been crazy, but, you know, we, we pray and I have a candle lit for my sister just, just for her. And, um, at the same time, God made me go sit in the dining room and I sat down and I wrote these two boys' names down. I said, just let me see if I can get something. Because I wasn't resonating. I wasn't like... Because people have told me in the comments, like, what about this boy Sebastian? 
you know, could you do a read on him? Or did you do one already? And I was like, no, I don't resonate with every case. And I don't. Like, that. I know there's a little boy, Elijah Vlu, I think, three-year-old. The only thing I get with him is it's the same, almost the same exact as Quentin. And I can't do it. My mind just can't. I can't. I can't do the baby, the ba the baby anymore. I mean, there's just too many in there, and I just couldn't. I could. I couldn't allow my psyche to feel it. To because when I do it, when I do the Jocelyn, when I do the um, Madeline, uh, the thirteen year old, I can't listen to the charges. I started, somebody slipped it in, there was, oh, the 60 charges, and they started talking about the charges on one, I think it was Plunder, somebody that I watch. I had to switch off. I was like, oh my God, protect me, please, protect me. I cannot, I don't want to know what he had on his phone, I already know. I don't want to know, you know, what he was downloading to the black market, allegedly. I don't want to know what the mother knew. What the mother heard, what the mother thought might be happening, or what she might be involved in. I was like, I can, please God, let me see what I need to see, do the video, throw it out there to the world, and if there's anything else I could do. That's why you won't see me really doing follow-ups anymore, like I used to with, um, Summer and my grandson's sincere and classic. Um, because every time you do something like that, you do, you see, you see my eyes getting green. This, even though I do have green line, you see them getting green? Okay, no, that looks crazy. That looks straight up batshit crazy. Okay, but anyhow, I'll do the video. You'll watch the video, right? Then you'll go about your business, you'll clean up your house, you'll make dinner, everything's fine. You'll go back, you'll go to bed, maybe you'll think think about my video or other videos you watched. And you'll say a prayer, you'll say that's a shame, you'll say a prayer, and that's it. It's good night nurse. Uh, not for the psychic, not for the light worker, not for the empath. It stays in here, it stays up here. We get migraines, we get headaches that never go away. I mean, like I could take Tylenol or I what I what works for me is Excedrin. But my doctor had recently said that my bilirubin was up high, and that was I taking Tylenol a lot. And I was like, um, no, but Excedrin. And he goes, well, be careful with that because it blows out your liver. Okay, so I don't even want to broach the subject, okay? But the thing, what I'm trying to tell you is I try not to take anything. I try to, like, meditate or let the music, that green noise helps me a little bit. I'll watch, like, a 15-second video or a 30-second, you know, 60-second short that balances the chakras or the, does the crown chakra helps the crown chakra that helps a lot the third eye is already open it's always open mm -hmm. try to ask God to close it like after I do when I did Jocelyn Smith same thing I was crying throughout the day I I was so glad I did it during the day okay the ones I'm gonna do tonight that I wanted to ask you guys but this is just a video so it's not like maybe I can get an answer through, through energy. I wanted to know if I should do it on a live and just talk about both guys. But I don't know how to do a thumbnail that has two people on it. So that's why I was thinking, I think I'm just going to do a video for Sebastian and then a, sh a short video. Because I got to be careful with my health. And I have notes, so... I like doing it in that way, um, but a, and a, a short video for Riley.
sorry. I was just watching um, Martha's Vineyard Somehouse, which is a really good show. Okay, anyhow, I like everything on Bravo. It makes me calm down. It grounds me somehow. It's crazy. It's, a, it's almost like watching Jersey Shore, which I used to love. And I have to catch up with that because um, there's new ones. Anyhow, I know. Be focused. Have you seen the little flashes? Like the cameras, like flash and light? Or is it just in my head? Okay. All right, so that's what's going on. That That is sincerely what's been going on with me. I, I've just been trying to plan my trip, trying to check on my sister, um, and just, you know, do the cases. I'm trying to be diligent in, in my cases. I'm not as diligent with my housework, and I have to be better with that. Yeah, so Riley, I'm going to do one for Riley. I'm going to do one for um, Sebastian. They're not as scary. I'm not saying it's good, but it's, it's not as scary as the Jocelyn Smith. Now, a couple of people have given me information and asked me to do a recap on Jocelyn Smith. I will try to do that, but that's going to be during the day. I really thought she was going to be found by today. Okay, but I really believe that somebody's moving her body. And um, I got a tip from one of my subs that live in South Africa. And they said, Katrina, the, the lady that has the red dress that was arrested with the mother and the boyfriend and somebody else, she was released from jail. But that could be because they're watching her or she gave some information and she, they couldn't hold her any longer. But my tip, my sub, my new sub from South Africa said they did um, arrest two other people. But they weren't really putting that out there, that information. And I said, don't you remember in my reading for Jocelyn, for little Jocelyn, sweet, beautiful Jocelyn, I said, what did I say? <laughs> Sorry. I said, um, I was just, in my mind, it's going uh, a thousand miles. In my mind, I was just thinking, if I upload this now, and I do a live or a video on my other phone, will that interfere? That's why I'm just going to do video, two videos, separate. Forget about the live. Anyway, I said, do you remember on my video, for my live for Jocelyn, <laughs> I said four people will be arrested, and four people were, but six people altogether. So four people were arrested, one got out, but then two more were arrested. So that's back up to five, but that is six altogether, right? Because the four, and then two more, but then one got out. Okay, anyhow, I, I'm not going to try to do math. All right, I am not going to do math. What is this lady doing? Okay, anyhow, I'm going to go so that I can go onto my other phone, go in the dining room, and come at you with those two videos. But they're not going to be long because it's freaking 120, which means forget about going to work tomorrow. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to skip tomorrow and hope that I get an opportunity to work in the schools that I want to work at, uh, the Taj Mahal of schools on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, anyhow, because it's getting close to my trip. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. There's too many things to worry about. I got to calm myself down. I got to put myself into a Zen state. Um, and you know what? I'm going to take the pressure off myself. I already did the dowsing rods. Okay, yeah. On my favorite day, I did the dowsing rods. Because those two young men, the 15-year-old and the 22-year-old, really came in my mind. And they were like, why not? That's what Gannon said. 
again and said, why wouldn't you look for um, Sebastian? He's 15. He's only a couple of years older than I was, Katrina. And whenever I see Gannon, I always feel like, are you trying to tell me it has something to do with the step-parent? He goes like this. Think, Katrina, think. Okay. But my brain hurts. Okay. I know. But um, the other young man, uh, Riley, is 22 years old, in college, fraternity. I hate those fraternities. And I'll get into it in the video. Um, but I'm going to try to keep them both like 20 minutes tops. Yeah. I'm not even believing what I just said. Anyhow, I'm going to try to do that. Because then I got to take I got to take my chamomile tea. I got to do my process. I got to take my meds. So I, I'm not taking my meds. Because I want to be um, cognizant. And I want to be really... Not that that stops me. It doesn't stop me. But I just won't be able to sleep. If I don't take my meds and go to sleep. Like go into a sleeping position. Um, and I stay up and I do a video. It wakes my brain up. And then it, the half hour, hour that I could have fallen into sleep won't come at all. So, anyway, um, I love you all. Uh, I've missed you. Did you miss me? I know that. Check yes or check no. Or check maybe. Remember those notes from third grade? Okay, anyhow. I used to always get in trouble. Anyway, I love you guys, and um, I do have lips, but I my lipstick came off. I had my a little bit of makeup, but light makeup on. I still have a light makeup on, but I really should take it off um, before I go to sleep. Maybe I won't show you myself in the videos, because it helps me focus better, and I just show you my book, and I do the microphone. Anyhow. I love you all. Do you see my clavicle bone? Yeah, maybe I lost an ounce. Okay, probably not. All right, love you guys. <laughs> no, women love to see their clavicle bone sticking out. If it's not sticking out, that means you're too fat, right? Or for me, it does. Okay, anyway, I love you.